This demonstration will provide you with a brief orientation to the ArcGIS Business Analyst map document, toolbar, and drop-down menu with its associated wizards. ArcGIS Business Analyst provides a default right protected map document, businessanalyst.mxd, that can be used as a basis for your analysis. Business Analyst no longer requires that you extract data for an area of interest to begin work. Data for the entire U.S. is available and ready to use in the default map document. In this example, a customer layer and store layer have been set up to activate all related functionality and then the map document saved under a new name, tutorial.mxd. For your reference, look in the table of contents to the left of the map. All layers shown under the Business Analyst Data group layer compose the default layers in the businessanalyst.mxd map document. This includes the Business Reference Layers group of NRB Shopping Centers and InfoUSA database of all U.S. businesses and two full sets of map layers, Sitemap and Thematic Map. Sitemap is designed to present a more detailed map at the local level with the addition of local streets, railroads, and the turning on of more layer detail. Thematic map contains most of the same base map layers as well as geography layers with associated demographic attributes. The thematic map can easily be checked on and site map checked off for better presentation of a thematic map. At any time you can turn a layer off or on by unchecking or checking it in the table of contents. If you click on the Business Analyst menu drop-down arrow, you will see each of the wizards grouped by similar function. The first grouping is for adding business listings or ArcIMS server data into ArcGIS Business Analyst. Clicking on Add Business Listings presents a search dialog for use in extracting desired data from the InfoUSA Business Listing database and adding it as a layer to the map. Add Business Data from Internet lets you add data directly from any ArcIMS web server. The second grouping lets you create a study area and set the active study area. Study areas are not required, but may be desired to establish a boundary around your analysis area. If no study area is defined, Business Analyst automatically uses the current map view extent as a study area for analysis. Changing study areas can be easily done using the Set Analysis Extent command. It can also be used to jump to a desired state location or major MSA on your map. The third grouping of wizards is for layer setup. Both customer and store layers are set up in a similar manner. Your source of data can be tabular, map ready as a shapefile, built from an empty layer, or by entering addresses. You can assign customers to stores by closest store location, using trade areas you've created, or using assignments in your customer database. Analysis layer setup is used primarily to set up layers you add to the map for use in business analyst analyses. It will define the methods you want used to aggregate variables in your layers table. All layers provided with business analyst are already set up for use but can be changed if you desire. The fourth grouping of wizards is for the various forms of analysis. The primary analysis wizard steps you through your choice of the four categories shown. Each category has numerous choices for the type of analysis to be performed. As an example, store market analysis has these analysis types. At the end of each wizard, you have the option of generating a report for the analysis using either a predefined template or by creating a custom report. Spatial overlay is a tool to extract data from one layer and join it to another layer. Find Similar is a tool to score potential new sites against a known well-performing site called a master site. Site prospecting creates trade areas around your sites using either simple rings, drive times, or threshold rings. The final group of wizards 
provides tools for finding a route both simple and optimized, creating reports without having to run an analysis, or performing thematic mapping. The Business Analyst Preferences dialog can be used to change many default operational settings in the categories of General, Data, and Analysis. Examples in the General category are changing customer store terminology based on your type of business and turning on or off the automatic map projection update feature of Business Analyst that keeps North oriented to the top of the screen when you zoom in or out. By default, this is turned on to produce more consistent maps regardless of the region of the country you're in. The Business Analyst toolbar contains two buttons. One activates the Site Prospecting Wizard and the other is used to identify data about individual business listing locations you've added to the map. Clicking on an individual business will display all available information on that business from the InfoUSA database. Additional details on use of the map document and functionality of ArcGIS Business Analyst can be found in the user guide.